Welcome to Module 2, Video 1 of the Safe and Effective Use of AI in Education Online Resources. In this module, we'll look at the fundamentals of using prompts with generative AI tools, what some of the key limitations of these tools are, and what we can do to mitigate them. There will then be a short task for you to apply some of the knowledge you've gained from this module. There will also be multiple choice questions so that you can test your knowledge and have an opportunity to reflect. So far, you've heard AI terms such as machine learning and large language models. While understanding AI's inner workings is helpful, it can also be simplified as a black box system. This means it has an input, which is your prompt, a hidden process, and an output, which is the AI system's response. Like other black box systems in science and engineering, we can see the input and the output, but not the process itself. But we don't need to understand the complex details of an AI system to use it effectively. But the basic understanding we gained in Module 1 will help us to understand the reason for the outputs. However, because we can't see the process, it's important to make sure there is always a human in the loop, reviewing and checking the output. Let's look at the three stages of using a generative AI tool such as ChatGPT, Gemini or Copilot. Firstly, the user provides a clear and detailed instruction or question for the AI system to work with. Next, the AI system provides an output based on the prompt, such as an explanation, example, or completed task. At this point, you can evaluate the response and refine your input if necessary, creating a feedback loop for improved results. It's important that we check the output from a large language model for accuracy and bias, and then adapt it to be appropriate for our intended use. And it's worth noting that different large language models will give slightly different answers. In Module 4, we'll explore a framework called the FACTS framework. The framework is a guide to some key steps that will help us get better results from AI systems and ensure we're always checking the outputs. We can cross-reference information with trusted sources to check the output of AI, ensuring accuracy and reliability. This involves verifying content against curriculum plans, subject guides, national curriculum documents, or exam board specifications. Additionally, consulting reputable educational resources and official guidance helps identify its errors, biases, or hallucinations. A hallucination is where the AI makes up misleading or inaccurate content. We'll be learning more about this later on in the module. 